welcome to Fellows Park, Warsaw. Tonight the Saddlers take on Southend United in an FA Cup first round replay. for tonight's victors will be a stern test away to Gillingham in the second round. The competition offers much needed cash to both clubs and I expect they both want to progress further than the first round. Southend currently struggling second from bottom in the third division. However, they showed real fight and character in the first match at Roots Hall Stadium. Coming out on top in possession and very unlucky not to secure a victory. The Saddlers currently riding high in the league table get a second bite at the cherry in a competition that last year brought great success. It took a three-match marathon from Watford First Division to knock them out and end their glory run. However, tonight the Saddlers will have to greatly improve, improve on last Saturday's lacklustre performance to stay in the competition. Tonight's teams are as followed. First, Walsall. Number one, Fred Barber. Number two, Andy Dornan. Number three, Mark Taylor. Four, Craig Shakespeare. Five, Graham Forbes. Six, Peter Hart. And seven, is Jones. Eight, Nicky Cross. Nine, David Kelly. Trevor Christie, number 10. And Willie Norton at 11. Southend, number one, Newell. Danny O'Shea at number two. Peter Johnson and number three. Martin Ling, four. David Martin, five. Derek Hall, six. Paul Clark at number seven. Glenn Pennyfather, eight. Martin Robertson, number nine. David Crown, recent signed for 50,000 from Cambridge. Is at number 10, and number 11 is Andy Rogers. The substitutes are 12, Smith, and 14, Neil. A fair crowd here at Fellows Park on a bitter evening. Anxious to see if Wolves can progress in a competition that's been so kind to them in the past. underway there but the referee orders a restart <laughs> south end to kick off 
Clarkson's a ball deep. Mark Taylor cuts it out, no problem. Fred Barber pulled off a fine save at Roots Hall Stadium to keep Sadlers in the competition. Sends it down deep towards Christian Cross. Christy comes storming through. Let's the ball run on. And we'll also start well with a corner to pressurise the visitors straight away. South End defence comes storming back. Paul Jones takes a corner kick. Forbes coming in, gets a head to touch. A pay off a handball from Walsall from a Nicky Cross flick on. Nothing given. Dornan tidies up. Sends it down. And the Saddler strike force caught in the offside trap. Taylor cuts it out there. Danny O'Shea to take the throw in. It's cut out by Willie Norton. A lax ball from him and Crown picks it up for South End. Graham Forbes with the timely interception there. Back to O'Shea. His centre flicked on his towards number nine there. South End pressurising. Sent over by Robinson and they're almost in there and Crown. Crown with an open goal. Skews it wide. Fred Barber, angry with his defence. Lady Luck smiles on the Saddlers once more. Crown, the recent signing, yet to score for Southend. He scored 12 goals previous this season, but that was with Cambridge United in the fourth. Towards cross, cut out by Clark. Back towards Trevor Christie. Shakespeare. Andy Dorn and sent it on. Newell sends the ball down. Towards Crown. Cut out by Hart. O'Shea again. Norton to Nicky Cross. Climbing on the back there. David Martin up on Nicky Cross as he tried to turn his defender. It's a Sadler's free kick, approximately on the halfway line. It's cut out by Clark. Dornan misunderstanding with Jones and away come South End. It's Robinson on the wing. Cut out by Hart. Jones, again, confusion between Jones and Dornan to South End throwing. This is Crown on the ball. It's a free kick to South End. Robinson came storming through. It's brought down by, I think it was David Kelly, but South End's turn to pressurise. Sent over by Penny Father. Referee orders the play to go back once more. And looks as though there's a caution being handed out here to the South End player. First name goes in the book tonight. It's that of number six, Derek Hall. South End take the freak once more. A glancing header there. Robinson just wide. Still nil nil. Doesn't seem to be much anxiety about the Warsaw game so far in these only five minutes. 
Barber sends it down. It's towards Christie. Gets a flick on towards Cross. It's cut out by Johnson. Hart, a judge to a foul crown there. Unpopular decision with the crowd. However, it's a south end free kick once more. Sent down by O'Shea. Cleared by Forbes. Norton gets a touch on. Pennyfather's in in front of Shakespeare. Taylor regains possession for Warsaw, and it's a goal kick. Sending it down. Mark Taylor gets a timely foot in. Nicky crosses through, collecting the ball. Kelly storming through into the centre, looking for support. He holds it up, sends a deep cross towards Christie. Gets the header in, but he's only a gentle lob into the arms of Newell. Sadler's first chance there. South End come away. Warsaw again pressurising the defence. Johnson sends that down towards Crown. Crown's taken his pace past Forbes and he sends across. There's no one there for Southend. Slow coming forward. Drawn into the rescue for Warsaw. Trying to settle things down. Cross fails to get a touch. Martin sending the ball on. Penny farther for South End now. Mark Taylor up, let that run on. It cuts it out. Sends it back down for Norton. Turns his man, looking for support. Sends a deep ball over to the right wing. Kelly can't quite get it. Good vision from Norton there. The ball just a little too strong. battling there. Paul Jones, the judge to a foul penny father. It's a south end free kick just inside the Warsaw half. Towards Crown, the flick on into no man's land. Forbes with time to send it back to Barber. just goes straight through to Barber's opposite number. It's Paul Newell. Again, Crown beats Hart. A good account of himself so far, possession-wise, but he's already missed the only startling chance of the game. Christie up. Header only goes backwards. Jones tries to gain, regain possession and Shakespeare loses. Crown again. Once more, he beats Hart and Mark Taylor's there to cover for his mistake. Barber's deep clearance towards Nicky Cross. There's a judge to a foul, Paul Clark. Assistant player manager here at South End. <laughs> Again, 
Crown beats Hart. Forbes sees the ball back alongside Robinson. Norton this time she's jump. Taylor puts it out for a south end throw. Stanley O'Shea to take the throw in. Goes towards Robinson. Forbes puts the ball straight out. to the game. Slow pace. As Barber sends this down. It's towards Christie. So also throw in. Mark Taylor to take it. Again that's down towards Christie who's cut out by Shea. Taylor puts his foot on the ball. Ling fighting and Penny Father with Shakespeare. Gains the throw in. For South End. O'Shea trying to send it down the line for Robinson, but it's straight out. Again, a little flick on there. Cut out by Clark, acrobatic line. And it's Hart sending it forward for Warsaw once more. Penny Father gaining control in midfield. Nicky Cross robbing his opposite number quite fairly there. Some strange reason the referee is giving a free kick for South End. There was space on the right hand side there. It's Rogers on the ball. He's cutting it back to Johnson. He sends the centre in. Hart and Forbes in a tussle. South and forward goes down. It's a free kick for Warsaw. Slotting onto a loose ball, gets a flick on towards Kelly. And an angry number five, David Martin, for South End. Blasting his defence as he had to get a vital foot in there to stop David Kelly on his goal trail. Fresh from a hat trick debut with air. Forbes in there. Trying to send cross. It's cut out quite easily by the South End defence. And Taylor watches the ball run out for a Warsaw throw in. Christie flicks it on towards cross. Battling with Clark, loses out, but Andy Dorner picks up the loose ball. He's got time. He's looking for support. It's towards cross. Christie. Too far. Warsaw, as in the first match at Roots Hall Stadium, finding it hard to pressurise up front. Willie Norton cuts out the O'Shea throw. Shakespeare flicked it on there. But once again, Nicky Cross, the judge to have fouled Penny Father. Martin sends the ball over to Johnson. And it's back to Newell, the goalkeeper. Just under quarter of an hour gone here. No score. It's Peter Hart miscues a header into the path of Ling for South End. He beat Mark Taylor. The ball's out for a goal kick. Crown couldn't control it. Bob 
Roberts sends it down deep towards the wind with Willie Norton. He gets a good contact on his head. Jones with the ball. Christian Cross both going for the same ball. And Cross is centre too far for David Kelly who came storming in. And the goalkeeper couldn't hold on to the ball as he slid out to the edge of his area. He has to put it out for the throw in. Also once again making a path forward but only from a south end error. And it's Peter Hart to come over to take the long throw in. It's Graham Forbes comes forward. Ball goes towards Forbes. He misses contact. It's cleared by Shea. Willie Norton gets a shot in. Only just wide there. Despair from the Warsaw crowd. They felt it was a corner. Robertson sends the ball on. Cut out by Hart. Penny farther out to Rogers. Crown down on the left hand side there. Winds are throwing off ground Forbes. Crown turning Forbes once again. He sent her straight into the arms of Fred Barber. And Mantua and Warsaw owe a lot this season. He'll be an excellent in goal once again after winning player of the season last. So then come away. It's a very slack ball though. Rogers couldn't keep it in. So Warsaw throw in. Dornan to send it down. Trevor Christie and back to Dornan. Shakespeare's coming forward. Gets a flick on there with Willie Norton. Flat footed. Regains possession. Sends in a centre. There's Kelly. Couldn't quite get a touch. An offside decision against Warsaw. losing out to Forbes Dornan slices his clearance Ling can't control it Mark Taylor comes away out wide to Willie Norton he sends that down to Shakespeare and fairly challenging Penny Father to South End free kick Very scrappy stop start game so far. Once again, yet another free kick. This time it's Crown backing into Hart. Norton's up for that one. Misses it completely and the ball runs out for a south end throw in. The attacking flair doesn't seem to be with the Saddlers this evening. They've been missing it quite desperately this season so far. Scored more than 100 goals in the previous two seasons, but it doesn't look possible this season as Cross was almost put through. straight to Rogers, brings the ball down, plenty of time on the left, Dornan's across to him gets a centre in, Fred Barber loses the ball again, Lady looks smiling on the Saddlers as it was cleared away by Hart Southend couldn't punish a rare Fred Barber mistake there and they're coming forward once again with Crown, Forbes with a vital foot in, Shakespeare sends Norton Kelly wants the ball down on the flank he gets it, not much space to spare. He takes it infield. There's Jones, sending it forward to Shakespeare. Walsall's final passing, letting them down as Rogers comes away. 
for South End. Dornan sends it back to Barber. to send the ball on to Kelly. Couldn't quite get a flick on to send cross. Again, Mark Taylor in the action. Trying to put his foot on Ling. So, Shea. Slack control. He's still got it down, but cross the judge to have impeded. Danny O'Shea there. And it's a free kick for Southend. O'Shea on the ball to Crown. Return to O'Shea. It's Martin Ling. The centre's over there. And the ball almost fell for Southend. And the strike from Rogers. Goes for a corner, taking a deflection off the walls of defenders. I think it was Jones that deflected the ball for the corner. South end pushing for the opening goal. Urged on by a handful of home supporters. They've made the long journey from the coast. The corner comes over. Clark was up, missing out. Willie Norton picks a loose ball up. He's got acres of space here. He's looking for support up front. Sends it for Kelly. He's not going to get that one. Taylor picks up a loose ball. Once again to Norton. David Kelly with a Maradona style goal there. Yeah, he's being cautioned for that. Deliberate handball, putting the ball in the back of the net. That's one name in the book from each club now. Martin Ling tries to send Robinson, cut out by Taylor. He in turn, trying to send Nicky Cross. Cross losing out, but he gets the throw in. David Martin put it out for South End. And it's Nicky Cross again, looking to get the ball into the centre. Beaten by O'Shea. Ball, Ricky Shea is off Ling. Willie Norton, little jinx, makes some space. Tried to send it for Cross. Wasn't expecting it, and it's out. For a Walsall throw in. Pete Hart to take this to kind of keep the pressure on for Warsaw. Hart sends it in towards Forbes. Ball almost dropping for Shakespeare. Jones on the loose ball, it's a cross down towards Forbesy, struggling to get through. Southend appealing for a, for a foul. Nothing given. Hart, clean header on that one. Willie Norton to Kelly. Shakespeare's outstretched ledge, can't read that. Shakespeare regains possession for Warsaw. Jones takes the only option. Back to Fred Barber. Taylor sending it down. Kelly gets a flick on to Cross. Cross turns. He's going for goal. Makes room into the centre circle. A judge to be brought down. Referee is waving play on.
so thin, they almost get a counter-attack counter going there. Fred Barber, a little lucky there, collects the ball. Having to do the work of the goalkeeper and defenders as Walsall were caught flat-footed at the back. End-to-end -end stuff now. David Martin, south end number five. Blatant elbows against Willie Norton. Sends a free kick towards Graham Forbes. He gets the knock into the centre. Cleared by Southend. Crown collects the ball. But a poor attempt to start the counter attack. With Danny Shay. Back for Southend. To a, judge to a judge to a foul crown has caused the morsel a fair amount of trouble at the at the back. It's a south end free kick just on the edge of the penalty area. What can they make of this in a so far scrappy, rather uneventful game? It's towards Clark. Got the header in, nothing comes to that. It's a goal kick for Warsaw. <laughs> Cross beating Martin and Chris again the ball onto Kelly. A timely challenge from Paul Clark. Throwing taken quickly, sent in by Dornan. Cross once again in the thick of the action. Decision goes south ends way. that one, Dornan taking the ball away from the south end striker and it's a wonderful ball to cross, his first touch lets him down a little bit, he sends Norton, Norton get the centre in there, Christie and Kelly both not being able to get the ball in and again the decision goes against Warsaw. they take the free kick quickly as south end come down the flank, Christie gets a timely foot in as well. Once again, the referee finds something wrong with that challenge. Wolves have not been able to play football. Tonight's referee. A little tough on physical contact. As Forbes sends the ball down for Warsaw. Shakespeare again, a hopeful ball. Cross loses out. Mark Taylor being challenged by Martin Ling. Taylor the victor in that little battle. Put it out for a south end throw. Crown with a shot there, well over. seem to be a little short of ideas in the midfield and Shakespeare and Jones having trouble in gaining possession thus there's not much action up front for the Saddlers as Cross this time gets the benefit of the ref's judgment decision goes Saddlers way Paul 
Jones over the ball. It's towards Forbes. No chance there. Kelly takes the ball down. But his ball has given it straight to Robinson and Crowns come storming through. It's a chance for South End. This once again. Crown has missed a golden opportunity to put Southend into the lead. David Crown's not having the best of starts to his new career with Southend. There's two chances he's wasted this evening. Could be crucial at the end of the day. Will they look back and wonder if they could have still been in the cup? Warsaw are going to have to produce something to do so and they're having trouble at the moment once again caught offside this time it's Craig Shakespeare from a Nicky Cross through ball <laughs> sent down by O'Shea Jones through And for some reason, there's an offside decision given against Warsaw. I can't see it myself. The crowd are none too pleased. <laughs> Echoes of cheat coming from the Warsaw crowd. A little biased, perhaps. But I couldn't see the offside there. As Warsaw once again break down the south end attack. This time, cross collects the ball, trying to send Willie Norton, unlucky, South End come away, Crown, Derek Hall and Johnson getting a bit of a tangle but he's eventually sent down to Rogers, cut out by Forbes, Andy Dornan towards Christie, Cross trying to get there, battling hard, Willie Norton regains position for the Saddlers. <laughs> Clark easily through to take the ball from Shakespeare. Walton don't seem very alert up front. The crowd annoyed with that. It's Derek Hall tries to send Rogers and Graham Forbes getting a nice challenge in there. <laughs> Offside decision for once it's at the other end. South end, and I think David Crown caught offside. Just over half an hour gone. Still no goals. Poor clearance from Fred Barber. Straight to Rogers. He's passed towards Crown. He's straight out though. performance from Warsaw so far it's hard to see the difference between second from bottom and second from top in the current third division table <laughs> referee once, bring, once again brings the game to a halt for a minor offence the play being broken up by many whistles from the ref tonight as Forbes sends the ball down deep towards Cross, loses out, Shakespeare's miscue, Jones puts his foot on the ball, it's to Norton, Shea hot in his heels, three on Norton then, he feeds it back towards Hart, he's forced back, Graham Forbes, a little unwilling to send the ball back to Fred Barber, Jeers from the home support. They're anxious to see Warsaw see off the struggling third division opponents. But the only chances that have been carved out of this game so far have been on the seasiders attacking play, but both of them wasted. As Nicky Cross forces South End defence to play the ball back to the goalkeeper. Martin sending the ball up. Penny Father picking up the loose ball to Rogers. Out to Johnson. 
to the high centre and over the top for Fred Barber to take the goal kick for Warsaw. Again, no contact from Christine. The ball comes straight back down. Now Crown is opposite number. Again with a chance, but a wonderful challenge there from Graham Forbes. And once again, he's been the kingpin of Sadler's defence this season. He's showing the way for his teammates, as a captain should. Christy, no jump. Cross gets the ball, gives it to Kelly. He's got plenty of space. Little knock down to Dornan. Dornan coming down on the right hand side. Sends it in, but once again the ball's cut out by the defence. Willie Norton regaining the possession. Ling sends him back. And what's Jones almost sending Nicky across there. Shakespeare winning possession, but losing out once more. Very scrappy as Kelly collected the ball, came away from a crowd of players. Glenn Pennyfather took his legs from underneath him and to Warsaw free kick. Some 20 yards outside the penalty area. Shakespeare standing over the bar, over the ball here. Let's one fly, takes deflection from the wall. It's a corner kick. Shakespeare, Warsaw's free kick specialist. He hasn't hit many this season. That one gains the corner kick. Much needed pressure for, for the Warsaw team. Shakespeare himself to take the corner. Graham Forbes coming in. Gets contact on that, but he's straight to nil. But Shakespeare giving him problems there and he has to get back quickly. Once again, cross the judge to a foul. South End defender David Martin. performance up to yet for Sadlers. No bite up front. Little ball winning in midfield. Only the defence is held solid. Graham Forbes especially. I think Glenn Pen Pennyfather gets a little attention from the trainer. checks his watch. A good three or four minutes lost there. Paul Clark sends the ball forward. Andy Dornan's there. But he loses out. Trying to play his way out of defence. And Paul Jones is in there. Also get the throw in. 
Willie Norton quickly sends it down to Nicky Cross, looking for support. Oh, and it, he's wasted a chance there. His cross straight to Newell, giving his forwards no chance. Hart up. Norton takes the ball down. Some nifty footwork there. Shakespeare sends it back to Hart. It's towards Cross once more. David Martin with a timely interception. Taking it away from Nicky Cross. It's a Warsaw throw in. An ideal time for Warsaw to get the breakthrough with half time looming. As Peter Hart takes the throw in. It's deep towards Christie. He gets a flick on. And Kelly's there. Sorry, Nicky Cross was there. His header coming off the bar. Summing up the look that he's had this season. He's going through a very lean spell. Nine times out of ten, he would have buried that one. And Warsaw must feel that they wasted an ideal opportunity there. Come on, Raj. Another long throw in. This time, Forbes is beaten to the ball. Rogers takes it down for South End. Crown flicks it out for a Warsaw throw in. Yes, Nicky Cross should have punished the South End slack mark in there. He was left open, but he couldn't finish it as the ball falls to Jones. Plays it out wide to Willie Norton, looking for support. He loses out. But Mark Taylor's there on the loose ball, bringing it forward. Thought he was going to try a shot. Willie Norton again can't find a way through for the Saddlers. Mark Taylor storming back. Holding up South End there. And winning the ball with help from Willie Norton. He sends it high towards Christie. Christie loses out. Danny O'Shea puts his foot on the ball. Challenged by Norton. <laughs> Nicky Cross once again in space. What can he do this time? He cuts inside the punk area, tries to shot himself. Well wide. It's what Saddlers need. They need to get shots on goal. That precious little space up front. Cross doing the right thing there. Not paying off this time. The scoreline remains nil-nil. As Newell sends it down. Forbes up high to get the first head in there. Rogers flicking it on towards Robinson. It's cut out by Sadlers. South end throwing. Taken by Johnson. Towards Crown, where Forbes came through. Throw him once more. This time it's held up by South End. Johnson sending it towards Crown. Their main target man. And he's gone past Forbes. Dornan threatening, challenging him. And he gets the ball out for a corner to South End. Sent over. O'Shea was up. So was Martin, but the ball's out. Kelly missed time in his jump there, but Dornan gets a foot in first. Nicky Cross on the right side of field. Wins the throw in. Very hopeful with that ball there. Warsaw haven't looked like them. The attacking side we know. They've lacked the flair, the concentration. Willie Norton keeps it in there. Sends it towards Cross, but the ball 
was read by Southend, this time Hart on the ball. Again, Nicky crossed the target man. Clark plays up. Crown's got the right side of the Warsaw defence, takes the ball down. Mark Taylor's in there with a the desperate effort. Ball on the ball for Southend. It's out to Rogers. Andy Dornan takes it off his feet. Gives Southend a throw in. Warsaw coming out of defence. It's Paul Jones. Trying to send Kelly. Hasn't got a hope chasing that ball. First half drawing to a close. The odd chance either end wasted by Crown for South End and Nicky Cross for Warsaw. Scoreline remaining nil nil. And there's a half time whistle. Cheers from the Saddlers fans. Disappointing first half display from Saddlers. Southend must wonder how Warsaw are second in the table at this stage of the season. In all three matches they've met this season, Warsaw have been the underdogs in possession. Teams come out for the second half. Can only hope for a better display in the first half. Very dour game. Few chances. A golden opportunity missed by Nicky Cross. A couple of chances that should have been taken by South End's number 10, David Crown. The score remains 0 0. Coakley described. The mood of the club is cautiously optimistic before this game of making the second round. The display has been very cautious. There's been nothing optimistic about it whatsoever. Can only hope for an improvement in the second half. Warsaw to get it underway. Jones sending the ball deep. Christie, not to the ground. It's a Warsaw free kick. It's Hart. Striking one. Deflected for a corner. Taking deflection from Pennyfather. And Sadler's get pressure from the very start. Paul Jones to take the corner. Both Forbes and Hart have moved forward. The goalkeeper straight to his hands where he loses possession. Regains this anxious moment for Newell then. As he sends the ball out with a long throw towards Rogers. Forbes on him quickly to force it back. Sadler's closing down well. South end, storming forward. Ling wants too much time on the ball, and Jones regains possession for Sadlers. Plays it out to Taylor. Towards Cross, gets a flick on. This is to nobody but Paul Clark for South end. Sends it forward, and that's beaten the Warsaw defence. An excellent chance there for Robinson. Martin Robinson, he seemed to. Miscue his shot, Barber was down quickly enough and he sends it on towards Christie. Lose it out to Martin. Martin with the footing once again. 
He sends the ball back to his goalkeeper, Paul Mule. header and falls to the feet of the south end number 11 Rogers he gets a centre in there it's knocked that back down it's for Hall but Crown latches onto the ball tries a shot blocked by Jones it's Pennyfather sends it out to Robinson cuts inside back to Pennyfather Shakespeare gives him a bit too much room and he gets a centre in there and it looked like a submission of handball nothing given the ball fell to Robinson he couldn't control it Dornan was there to tidy up for Warsaw. Barber sends the ball down with a kick. Cross can get nowhere near the ball. Only succeeds in fouling. South end defender Peter Johnson, who takes a free kick himself. Forbes is there. Doesn't put the ball out of play. Jones takes it down well, looking for something up front. Chris is there to take the ball away from Clark. Has to hold it up for some support, and Andy Dornan takes it on. And he's still going. He's got a centre in there to nobody. Cleared out by the south end. Storming down the right flank there, Saddlers. Nice combination between Christie and Dornan. Dornan on the overlap gets a centre in there. There's no Warsaw players up there, and only a corner comes of it. What can I do now? He's sent over. Forbes appeared to be pushed, and a penalty is being given. The referee storms away from any ensuing protest from South End. The penalty is there. Can the deadlock be broken? Shiru's taking the penalty kick yet. Paul Jones brings the ball up to the spot. He looks as though it'll be himself to strike it and try and break the deadlock in this game. The Warsaw fans expectant as Jones strolls up to take it. And he buries it in the roof of the net. The goal's there. South End look a little dejected. I felt the decision was harsh, but Forbes is clearly bundled to the ground as he came up for the corner. Sadlers take a 1-0 lead. South End will be anxious to get back into the game. A strange decision there. The referee takes another name, he's obviously bought a new pencil, wants to get good use to it, this time it's Craig Shakespeare. I can't understand a few of the decisions tonight, but his word is final. The South End waste the chance there. Warsaw can now establish themselves and create a margin between themselves and South End that the current tables would depict. They've had a couple of chances, I've wasted them, and now they've got that little buffer as Christie comes onto the ball, challenged hard by Martin. A th quick throw into Nicky Cross, trying to turn Clark. He does so, loses out. So I think cleared up for a throw in. from Peter Hart straight to the goalkeeper Taylor comes through misjudges it and Crown wins out against Jones it's sent out for Rogers, trying to get a centre in Taylor clearing up as Kelly comes away with the ball for the Saddlers now with an air of confidence about him, with the deadlock broken. 
Just crushed his air. Couldn't keep the ball in. Incident in the crowd. As Jones gets a foot in to put it out for another south and throw. Forbes is there. Tyler battling, gets possession for Warsaw. It's Kelly looking for support, trying to send cross, he can't get there. Clark's in front of him, gets the ball back to his goalkeeper. to Rogers. Sends it forward towards Robinson. No way forward as Forbes marking him tightly. Hart through to break down that attack. Johnson on the ball. Lifts it. An offside decision given against South End. it forward. Christie's up. Again fails to get the contact. So does Crown at his opposite end. Forbes sending it forward. Offside against Warsaw. Willie Norton the culprit. Concedes a free kick. About 10 yards outside the Warsaw penalty area. Could South End hit back. It's Penny Father standing over the ball. Also with Clark. No, sorry, it's David Martin. Strike and a fine save from Fred Barber. Barber diving to his left. Denying South End there. Infringement by Willie Norton on the corner kick. Crown comes stormy forward for the short one. Pete Hart puts it out once more. Another corner for South End. Contact there from Martin. Forbes clears it. Cross looking for support. Finds it in Andy Dornan. Dornan sending Willie Norton, but he's given offside. And yes, another forward surge breaks down. Forbes gets a timely boot in, and a misunderstanding between Dornan and Forbes there. Peter Hart battling. Dornan picks up a loose ball. It's Kelly. Trying to send Christie. Willie Norton puts his foot on the ball but again loses it. 
Mark Taylor, little jinx to avoid Lind. Gets the ball to Cross. Clark came through to rob him. And Cross was in again. Cross goes down. The trainer comes on to give a bit of attention. Crosses up on his feet. Jones plays it out. Kelly now on the ball. What can he do? Trying to take it back to Johnson. Gets a little ricochet into the path of Dornan. He's taking it down. Both slide down. South end the victors in that one. Jones again sending it forward. Cross taking the ball down. Losing out. And a free kick's given South End's way. It's been the story of this game. The play's been broken up so often by the referee. With some strange decisions. The South End come forward. Sling looking for support. He finds it in Robinson. Overlap. Warsaw back in numbers. Jones couldn't quite get a clearance on. Ball on the ball. Rogers gets a return. It's to Ling again. Ball to Johnson. Will he try one? Puts it onto his other foot. And there's a double overlap here as Link comes charging forward. The cross is there. Sternly out by Graham Forbes. Andy Rogers on the ball again. Returning it to Peter Johnson. Andy Dorn and a judge have niggled at Rogers' feet there as he release the ball. A free kick goes his way. <laughs> Barber comes out for that one, takes it cleanly and sends Willie Norton straight away. Norton sends the ball inside past Ling. Ling's too quick for him. Also losing possession. Shakespeare was in there to regain it. Kelly puts his foot on the ball. His through ball, much too strong for Nicky Cross. Once again, his crown. Cuts inside Forbes. Blocked by Hart. South End putting on great pressure here. O'Shea had the chance to tee up a shot. It's to Ling. Tries to get a centre in, miscues completely. Willie Norton has time to clear it upfield. Again, Nicky Cross is judged to have fouled his opponent. Martin up for South End. Forbes gets the toe in. Ball falling eventually to Crown. Looked like handball. He shot straight to Barber. It's a large clearance. Kelly stands no chance. And the goal far from giving Sadler superiority. They seem to have once again falling to a a trance. They can do nothing up front. And it's a 
occasion they pulled back for offside Forbes with a clear header Rogers takes it down it's tracked by Dornan and Nicky crosses in there to give away the throw in Plays it straight out. Goal kick to Warsaw. Who substitutes are warming up vigorously at the moment. Perhaps you could see a change to breathe some life into Saddlers. Had trouble entertaining the home crowd this season. And again, Christy loses out. Jones gets that one. Willie Norton can only just keep it in play and in doing so <laughs> Kelly <laughs> Kelly promptly onto some confusion between goalkeeper and defender there gets a cross in towards Christie it seemed as though he could do nothing but score but his head has glanced wide as a far post Sends Dornan. Dornan charging down the right hand flank again. Looking for a centre. He gets a deep one towards Christie. He gets the header back. Shakespeare turns and tries to strike it. But defenders are back in numbers. And it's almost put into their own net by Southend then. Also quickly forward on the counter attack. Not paying off for Southend now, go away. Crown wins a free kick. Andy Rogers coming down the flank. Andy Dornan trying to hold him back. Gets the cross in. Peter Hart's flick head header there. Almost caught Fred Barber out. Just looping over the bar for a south end corner kick. South end are far from giving up here. They've shown fighting spirit in the previous games, both in Cup and League. In the league, their ten men fought back to hold Saddlers to a draw. What can they do now? Nothing with that corner, it's sent straight back out. Barber to make the clearance. winning out in that challenge and again the ball falling to nobody Forbes winning that one Shakespeare on the loose ball in midfield nowhere to go gets in a mess with Forbes Jones can clear it up Willie Norton just to be backing into his opponents Danny O'Shea who takes the free kick and Forbes comes forward in front of his man to take it Shakespeare sends Kelly. Kelly tries to go it alone. Clark bundles him off the ball. Sadlers have a free kick. Shakespeare standing over the ball. Paul Jones also. Leads it to Shakespeare. Straight to the South End defence. Shakespeare loses out to Pennyfather coming, storming out to defence. Peter Hart puts that out for a South End throw. Deep in the water half, almost at the corner flag. forward to it trying to turn the Warsaw defenders Mark Taylor clearing up keeps it in play still Christy wrong footed but 
Mark Taylor, steady as ever, once again. Jones sends the ball into no man's land. Walsall's short of ideas throughout the game. Jones sends that one. Cross can't control it. The ball's ricocheted far forward. And Southend storming through in numbers there. Shakespeare gets the desperate foot in. It's a corner kick to South End. <laughs> Cheers echo around the Warsaw ground as a substitute once again limber up. A change of staff, desperate need, did you thought, to bring some ideas into the midfield as the corner sent across. Cleared out by Forbes. Ling Rongford's Willie Norton, but not Forbes. Norton jinxes his pass, his marker, sends Christie. Christie is space, but looking for support. Andy Dornan in the overlap. He sends it inside to Jones, back to Norton. Christie goes forward himself. It's a nice ball from Willie Norton to Mark Taylor. A left-hand side in space. Can he get a centre in? He can't. And two defenders take the ball away from him. But again, Willie Norton gets a centre in. Comes to nothing. The Saddlers pile on the pressure. Very scrappy forward play from Warsaw. Southend managed to scramble it away. Forbes is down injured after an after the ball boot accidental off her Walsall storming forward Cross got a little flick on from the Christie centre there Out of camera, Graham Forbes back upon his feet. <laughs> it looks a little dazed, but play continues. centre, straight into the arms of Fred Barber. Sent on by Barber. Cross battling. Decision goes Warsaw's way. to get a centre over. Stumbles as he's challenged. Ball falls to Jones, sends it into cross, turns and takes a shot. It's back out. Paul Jones again regains possession for the Saddlers, coming forward himself. Sends it out wide to Norton. Norton beats one man, had his legs taken from under him. And it's a free kick to Warsaw. is out. Martin Ling comes stormy forward for South End. His players in space. He finds one. In the shape of Derek Hall. It's forward to Crown. Back to Hall again. Will he try a shot? Penny Father. They're knocking it about. They're getting nowhere. Rogers on the wing. 
Forbes comes storming forward, but Hall turns him, tries his shot. Barber leaves it, and he skims wide. on the ball once again. Fall to Derrick Hall. Cross. A little over anxious there to get the possession back for Walter. Foul for. Clark sends it forward. Hartley gets the ball down. And Forbes continues his good work. with the throw in towards Crown Forbes shadowing him Dornan gets possession for Warsaw sends it down the line Nicky Cross can't quite keep it in play Forbes comes through then a mix up between Warsaw players and Shakespeare back in defence gets a vital touch Jones tries to send Norton, but his ball directed towards Ling, and South End regains possession. Very scrappy in all departments this game. O'Shea getting in the centre, cleared out by Hart, falls to Derrick Hall, he tries the shot, but once again it's way off target. Solid performance in defence again from Warsaw, especially Graham Forbes. The referee stops a play for some reason or other. We're not sure what it is. It looks like it's for a South End substitution. The South End weren't ready for it and he's holding up play for no reason at all. Maybe he's picked up an injury. Dean Neal, number 14, replaces him. South End looking for a quick tank counter attack here. Robinson on the ball. Almost beating Hart. He's running out of play. It's a goal kick. to Taylor. Football a bit too close, also push for space and they're forced back and Andy Dornan sends it to Barber. About 15 minutes remaining. 10-15 minutes remaining here. been a very dull match. Sadler's still one goal on in front. 1-0 from a Paul Jones penalty kick. As Taylor sends it in. Christie takes it across. Complaining. As Kelly's pulled off for presumably pushing at the defenders. And away come South End with Rogers. That's on to Neil, the substitute. Forbes loses out to that one. Neil tries a shot with his almost his first touch, but it's well wide. Christy 
winning that one. Ball forced across. Taking it down the wing. Looking for support. Loses possession. And this time, Nicky Cross is spoken to once again by the referee. And looks like there's a caution going his way. Yellow card for Cross. Several niggling challenges after the ball had gone. Forbes comes through again. As Christie tries to send Dornan. Ball's a little too long for him, he can't keep it in play. The south end throw. It's taken by Johnson. Towards Neil the substitute, but Christie's there first. Dornan sends sends it down. It's cut out by Rogers. And it's a Warsaw throw. The match seems to be going to a 1-0 victory for Sadlers. Few chances created. Those that have been created have been missed. Just one penalty separating the teams. As Cross sending the ball into the centre, but Forbes comes through. It's possession, a little lax. The ball takes a kind rebound from the referee for Warsaw. Dornan getting the centre in there. Shakespeare couldn't quite get the flick. The ball eventually going through to Newell, the goalkeeper. Forbes mischimes his jump there. And Peter Hart. Stumbling. Challenging with Neil, the substitute. Walsh will get the free kick. There's a su suspicion of handball there, but nothing given. Christian, Willie Norton can't collect. South end coming away. Dornan gets a little touch. It's not enough. But Hall puts the ball straight out for a Walsall throw in. Johnson. Jones is there with him. So is Dornan. Dornan gets the ball now. Sends it downfield towards Christie. That's the cross. It's pass a little too slack for Kelly. He sends Willie Norton. Norton gets a cross and it's too long for Christie. Christie's to collect the loose ball. It's back to cross. Cross back to Dornan. There's people waiting in the centre, but I think the goalkeeper's going to take that one. He punches, but not far enough. Jones lofts it. Kelly take, tries to take the ball down. And South End scramble it away. Panic in the South End defence there. As Kelly and Norton combined to give Christie a half chance, but the cross was too far. Sends the throw in down. Jones is up there, wins out. Cross takes it down. Looking for support. Almost sent the perfect ball to Kelly. It's Christie on the ball. Looking to get it in. Sending Shakespeare. It's well blocked by South End defenders. Shakespeare losing out. The cross comes in and Clark hoists it clear onto the top of the stand. Desperate measures from South End. Who 
also piling on the pressure once more in the closing stages. They can't get the final pass together, however. Peter Hart to take a long throw in. It's in towards Forbes. And Christie, and Christie are judged to have fouled. Again unpopular with the Warsaw crowd. There's been a lot of decisions in that manner in this game. As Forbes glances a header, but only towards Neil substitutes. In turn sends Rogers the winger. Dawn and Shadowing in. The ball comes back to Johnston. He's shot. Left by Forbes from the instructions of Barber. Goes through for a goal kick. Again, the Warsaw defence seem to have themselves sorted. Barber takes the goal kick. Warsaw losing out again. It's Neil. Back to Ling. Over on to the left to Rogers. Dawn into him. Johnson calling for it. Receives the ball. But Kelly's back there in defensive. Duty. Concedes the throw in. Kelly's been quite up front today. Disappointment to the Saddlers fans, I expect, after hearing of his hat trick and his air debut. and only half clears. The ball falls to Derrick Hall. And the centre comes in. A glanced header from Danny O'Shea there from the centre from his fellow defender Johnson. It's beaten Barber, but also beat the bar. Fred Barber to take the goal kick. Last few minutes of the match, into injury time now. And Kelly trying to flick it on. Offside once more. Clark sending it down. Ling, again beating Taylor. He sent her straight into the arms of Barber. Takes it well. Sends a high clearance towards the halfway line. Willie Norton missing it. Christie picking it up. Trying to send Shakespeare down the wing. He's battling and wins the ball. Unfairly held up. An offside decision was given there. in the saga of weird decisions from the officials tonight as Forbes comes through with a clean header Christie taking the ball down Shakespeare to Norton jinxes his man well and he's looking for Kelly he's found him Kelly cuts inside Johnson he's still got the ball couldn't quite couldn't quite get the ball on target but however the referee once again is given a penalty, this time for handball against Peter Johnson as Kelly was challenging with him. This one would make it certain. Although we're into injury time, you can never, never can tell, so Wilson must bury this penalty. And it looks like it's Jones once again. Jones buries his second penalty of the match. 2-0 to Warsaw. And a place in the second round is secured. A scrappy performance from Sadlers.
surely they must hold on to the two goal lead now and take the trip to Gillingham in the second round having said that Russell a little bit anxious at the back again playing dangerously Jones climbing on Derrick Hall the free kick south ends way Sent in by Clark. And a penalty is given the other way. A strange decision there. Christie supposedly pushing. And we've got a penalty for Southend. This referee never ceases to amaze me. quite sure he knows what he's doing but nobody else can see it he's given a penalty ricochet is off the post and just inside the net I can't understand that decision however every goal stands and South End put that one away Now Warsaw's two goal lead, rubbed out to one, and then must hold on for possession for the remaining few minutes. South End, a mix up between Barber and Forbes. Could this be a miracle comeback from South End? The corner comes over, it's a poor one, and Jones clears it out high onto the stand roof. Free kick, this time Walsall's way. But on the referee's performance tonight, I'm surprised he hadn't given another penalty. However, he's still 2 1 to the Saddlers. Two penalties to one. It's the only way either team could put the ball in the back of the net in a very scrappy match. Barber's poor clearance. Johnson on the ball, lost it. Up front, Forbes is in there. There's a bit of aggravation going on there. The referee doesn't seem to have things under control. The linesman gave the offside decision but he should have stopped play and got it sorted out. The ball comes forward. Forbes is up there, misses out. David Martin, who'd been challenging with Forbes in the middle of the park, is going to get his name taken for this. What appeared to be a retaliation foul. It's another name in the book. There's a final whistle. 
cheers echoing round the crowd. Warsaw have gained a place in the second round against Gillingham. They hardly deserved it in a very scrappy match. The crowd files out disappointed. The teams walk off hanging heads low. They know they've put up a bad performance. However, Warsaw team to face Gillingham. 2-1 with the